pastor of Found Church, Corey Lewis. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Well, we're uh, nearing the end of the outdoor uh, market, and we're anticipating you'll be moving indoors again this year? We will. Um, after much consideration, um, originally we thought perhaps we had outgrown the Found Church. We had filled it at the end of last year, and obviously added more vendors that were interested this summer. Um, so we had checked out a couple places. Um, we were very interested in hoping to keep it downtown. Mm -hmm. We needed enough room. And um, like I said, we've been through several places. We would have preferred Found Church, um, but there were some size restrictions. And sure enough, last week I got a text from Corey. Uh, we're very grateful. Just ask, as a matter of fact, I was on the front lawn of the state capitol at the farmer's market with the Suffernicks, and uh, we got a text from Corey that said, have you found a place yet? And my heart just leaped. I was so glad. I said, well, nothing's set in stone. And he said, what would it take to get you to come back? Six. So um, really just a blessing to have them work it out, um, jump through the hoops that they had mm -hmm. to jump through to make sure that we have enough room to be there. So yeah. mm -hmm. we'll be returning there um, a month from today, November yeah. 1st, we'll be back inside at Found Church. Corey, that's awesome to uh, open your church to uh, really business on, uh, on Fridays in the winter. It's yeah. a lot of work, I know, on your side as well. Yeah, so uh, it's important to us to be able to partner with the farmer's market. And um, we love the geographic, we're, we're in the geographic center of the city with our church and, and our mission has always been to be uh, uh, outward facing, meaning that we are engaging with the community. And um, I mean, that's to, to us, to, to Pastor Kristen, myself and our board, that's, that's always been the goal. Mm -hmm. And uh, when we were able to buy that building downtown, the old Furman's building, uh, it was just really, it's, it blessed us and we wanted to be able to bless mm -hmm. the city. So it was fall, uh, you were at the rafters. Uh, what did you uh, do in order to accommodate the bigger and better indoor market? Well, the, we just had some logistical things that we had to work out. And um, we really, like I said, we really wanted them to come back because it was such a great partnership last year. Um, it was a lot of fun having just, just people just come through the doors all day on Friday and the different, uh, the different people that came through and the fact that uh, just on a Friday, we are kind of able to alleviate a little bit of the food desert downtown, mm -hmm. especially since we're sandwiched by the Elaine in, in Otsego. Uh, we see a lot of those residents at the farmer's market. And so um, that was really important to us to, to be able to open our doors. And, Doug, and get the farmer's market back. Doug, do, you th do you think the uh, the outdoor uh, market had a bunch of momentum from the indoor market oh, last for sure. year? Oh, for sure. And really, that was that was kind of the idea. It was just a week before the end of the winter market or summer market last year that we said, hey, let's mm -hmm. go inside. And we, we had to scramble, and they came through for us then. Yeah. You know, they did everything they had to do last year to get us in there quickly. Um, and then it's it's been a lot better this year. You know, we have a lot more... Um, a lot more warning, a lot more time to plan, a lot more time to let everybody know, you know, where we're going to be. So um, I do think it fueled it, and I do think that the summer market is, again, going to really up the foot traffic through Found Church this year. What will be different this year? I'm sure you've learned some things over the years. We really have. Um, directing people th through the winter's market last year was tough, getting them mm -hmm. to make sure they circulate through the whole thing. So we've got more signage. Um, like I said, we've got a month now to let people know that we'll be mm -hmm. there, so our vendors um, at this point, we'll be able to openly let people know where we're going to be, what time we're going to be there, so people can plan for it. Yeah, it's amazing. It's like uh, you see in uh, downtown Marrakesh, all these outdoor yeah. people. All mm -hmm. yeah. It's really unbelievable what it's become. This yeah. market has just exploded in the last well, couple of years. Well, you know, and it's in tandem with the work that Beth and Melissa are doing as mm -hmm. well, with the events that they, you know, promote downtown. Um, I think everybody is really interested in making it more vibrant, making it more yeah. beautiful, and making the whole downtown more accessible. What's your favorite vendor? I don't have a favorite <laughs> in particular. I love them all. Are you going to have the gentleman back that sharpens the knives? Um, no, he was actually just here once <laughs> last year when you guys stopped in, and he's not been back since. So. That's funny. I no, hope so. That'd that be was, nice that was a did. unique thing. No, you yeah, always have it was something very unique. unique. It's cool. Yeah. You know, what's, what's interesting is now that we're up and rolling, um, a lot of those people are, are saying, can we come back? Yeah. Sure. We love it. It's great. Have you, Corey, been able to find some new uh, people that go to Found Church from just uh, discovering you on the farmer's You know, market? I don't know specifically if we're getting people that are coming. Uh, 
it's funny when they uh, when people come in for the first time they have no idea that it's a church right. mm -hmm. you know and then people are overwhelmed with how big it is mm -hmm. when they come inside because you know they see the front that faces Michigan Avenue and they don't realize how big that building is and they get inside and they're like oh my gosh you know and so um, and we haven't seen I, I don't know specifically if people have come because they've come through the farmers market that's not our goal anyway you know um, and so but yeah it's just been a lot of fun having people come through on a Friday that would not normally come through a church yeah yeah and he got his first suit there yeah, that's right. For, for oh, yeah. Yeah. yeah, that's right. Well, yeah, uh, that building has a lot of history. Jake Watusik. <laughs> <laughs> and the Furman family still watches. That's right, that's right. Yeah, yeah. Andy has been uh, to the church a couple of different times. Um, and we still have their safe upstairs, uh, which we're trying to get to him. <laughs> he, he cracked it, I understand. So far, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so far, uh, it's four of us have tried to move it, and it's uh, that thing is a beast. Yeah. Yeah. So when does the uh, indoor market start? Uh, it starts a month from today, Perfect. 30 days, November 1st. Can't wait. Yeah. So in the meantime, great. the downtown market continues. That's correct. Friday and Saturday, 9 to 2. Get there early. If you want eggs, anything like that, you got to get there early. Uh, great collaboration between the uh, DDA, the Farmer's Market, and Farm We're Church. We're so grateful. Yeah, yeah. Grateful. yeah it's, it's great for downtown. From the uh, downtown Jackson Grand River Farmer's Market, Dodie Wheeler, and from Found Church, Corey Lewis. More of the morning show right after this.